Welcome to Throwback Thursday. Throwback Thursday is an international collaboration of YouTubers who get together once a month to resurrect some old footage and present it to you, the viewer. Our contribution this month concerns steam trains and sugarcane in the Caribbean country of Cuba. Once you finish watching our video, we'd love it if you could watch the other videos in this month's collaboration playlist. To do that, you can either wait until the very end of this video and click on the card that will be presented at the end screen, or you can have a look down in the description below. Cuba is an island nation located in Central America, just off the tip of Florida. The northwest province of Holguin is where we're headed today. Note the town of Guadalavaca, which we've been to before in previous videos. We're going to be heading towards the town of Rafael Freya, and excuse my lousy Spanish pronunciation. In this town, there is a train station called Santa Lucia, and that's where we're going to be embarking on our journey today. Cuba formerly traded sugar with the former Soviet Union, which collapsed in 1991, sending the Cuban sugar economy along with it. The locomotive engine was built at the Baldwin Locomotive Works in Philadelphia, USA in 1882. Let's have a look at the old station buildings and surrounds. This wiring looks totally safe. bell from the train and I think that's a piece of a boiler another train piece on a piece of railroad track this is the station itself it's very photogenic this is a view down the track we took this trip to Cuba in February of 2019 It takes a little bit of shunting to hook up to the rather primitive passenger car. Here it comes. It's our means of propulsion for today's journey. Yes, that's my finger over the lens. We weren't very good at this filming thing back then. The original purpose of this locomotive was to haul sugarcane from the fields into the refinery, all part of the sugarcane industry in Cuba. The train has arrived at the station. Let's give everybody else a chance to get on board and we can have a quick sneak peek at the engine. The steel seats are welded directly to the steel floor. Sit back, relax and enjoy the music. This carriage has all the mod cons, including a built-in entertainment system. Audience participation in the experience is welcome. Our journey through the former sugarcane fields of Cuba begins at this point. It looks like there's some rolling stock that's just been parked up for decades and allowed to rust. A little bit sad, really. It's a symptom of the collapse of the sugarcane industry after 1991. 
where Cuba didn't have anywhere to export sugarcane to anymore, so production of sugar largely ceased. The track runs for a few miles and we took a couple of photos along the way and we'll share them with you right now. A turkey vulture. There still are a few isolated fields of sugarcane but nothing like it was before 1991. A bridge on the track crosses a small body of water. Cuba has a wide variety of non-native fruit trees. Here's a mango. Agriculture is still very labor intensive here. Having all that sugarcane led to rum production. Almost every village had its own distillery. What a shame it's gone. Along the side of the railway, we see the houses that the Cuban people live in, in this part of the country. Everyone here seems to maintain a garden containing a wide variety of plants, including some tasty looking tropical fruits and some beautiful flowers. We sadly reached the end of the line. Here we get off the train and another photo opportunity presents itself. Some close-ups of the engine, some details on the manufacturer's plate, and we now wave goodbye to the train, hop into the minibus and get ready to go to our next destination. Thank you for watching our video today. I'd just like to remind you that there are other collaborators in this month's playlist. Please have a look at their videos in the playlist. Thank you very much. Goodbye.